Let's get more on the story. I'm joined by Musharraf Zaidi, who is in Islamabad. He's a political analyst and a columnist. Uh, many thanks for speaking to us on TRT World. Musharraf, Imran Khan has wanted to lead Pakistan for a long, long time. It looks like he's finally done it. It's a very big day for uh, PTI supporters, for Imran Khan himself. He began his political journey in 1996, shortly after winning the only Cricket World Cup that Pakistan has ever won. Uh, he's done a tremendous amount of uh, charity work uh, in health and in education. He's governed KP, uh, widely viewed to have been uh, quite successful in that, uh, in that effort. And this is certainly a very big day for him. In terms of all these allegations of vote rigging, how much is that going to hurt him going forward if he does win? I think it'll hurt him uh, significantly, uh, and I think probably not for any uh, wrongdoing on the PTI's part, and, and probably not for what you would call sort of outright uh, mass-scale rigging. But there are certain irregularities that do need to be explained and responded to. The delay in the announcement of the election results by the Election Commission of Pakistan, the excuse or the explanation that's being trotted out of a technical glitch causing the failure and the delay, the absence of uh, free access to polling agents of the opposition parties, the now opposition parties, uh, to the uh, polling process and the vote count in particular. I think all these questions are going to mar what should have been a really historic victory for the PTI. I still think it will be that, but I think it'll be marred by these allegations. What are the initial challenges uh, for him and his new government going forward? I mean, we, Pakistan has many challenges, the economy, uh, political instability and so on. What does he need to prioritize uh, as soon as he uh, gets into power? Well, uh, first of all, uh, you know, he still will need uh, some measure of coalition, whether it's the independence choosing to join the PTI before the vote for the leader of the House, or it's some of the other smaller parties, uh, any combination of them could effectively deliver the required uh, majority that he needs, 137 seats. Uh, and once he's done that, uh, whoever the prime minister is, it looks like it'll be him, but it could be somebody else. That could be the cost of, uh, of a, a strong coalition. Um, they're, the first thing they're going to need to do is address Pakistan's macroeconomic crisis. There is a serious balance of payments issue. Pakistan simply doesn't have enough foreign currency to pay for its uh, for the imports that it needs, and there's going to have to be some sort of an, uh, an injection. I think equally important is going to be uh, the need to establish international credibility. Uh, I think there's a lot of unfairness in how Pakistan is covered generally, and I think it's only going to increase given some of the irresponsible statements that have come from PTI leaders, including Imran Khan himself. There are genuine fears around the world that he represents a rightward turn in this country's evolution. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily the case, but that is going to be something that the PTI is going to have to prove through its actions and its deeds. And of course, there's internal fissures and unity questions. Uh, this is a very divided country. Khan is going to have to try and bring us all together again. Mashar uh, Zaidi speaking to us from Islamabad, political analyst and columnist. Many thanks.